we were too, man, we toured like crazy on those EPs. We just, we, we would just kind of jump at the opportunity to get on the road and not only for exposure, but also to, to refine the songs that, that we did on the EPs and get kind of a better understanding of what we wanted to do next. But e even having said that, we did wait a long time. Yeah, we, we, we definitely work really, really hard before we go into the studio. So everything is, we, we know what we're doing before we There's no such thing as one take, though, even in, in the studio for a band like this, though, because we experiment the, a lot of the results that you get on the record. Um, you know, we reserve the right to experiment a lot with, with, the, with the studio recording as opposed to the live. So it's like, the way I see it is the live influences the studio, which then we um, kind of then take liberties that we maybe wouldn't have done live just to make it a cool record. And then, then the live, then the studio informs the live after it's done, and then we kind of relearn and reassess the way we, we approach it. I, I mean, I think the best, I, and I keep trying to refine my definition of this band, but really it just comes down to we are a modern band. You know, we are. We're we're a modern experimental band, and it's like you can pick it apart. That someone who has um, interest in jazz, someone who has interest in world music, who has interest in rap, you can you can say, oh, they obviously have qualities of rap. They obviously have qualities of jazz, and this and that, which is good. That's great. It just shows that uh, more no, people will like. It. More people will like. It. We're a product of our time. You know, and it is a modern band, and is there jazz elements involved? You know, John might not like uh, jazz or something, and then you know, Ian might like it. Neither, either. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I, <laughs> I, it's, it's not that it's not that I don't like jazz. It's not, it's not really not really my thing. But can I deny that there's jazz elements in this band? Of course there are. You know, but I wouldn't I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't put this on rap or do Gellington songs and say, oh, yeah, look, jazz. You know. <laughs> For a second, I could definitely say my favorite is the Gibson Echoplex, um, which is probably the most, <laughs> probably the most advanced uh, uh, looping device that I'm aware of. It's a rack, not a unit. It's not. A, it's not a computer. So you can really, you can forgive yourself for using a digital tool and not have it be a computer, and still think that it's that it's very uh, analog in a way and kind of hands-on, and it's allowed us in a band, a band, bands like us to explore um, uh, a live element that could not be explored maybe even, you know, ten, five, five, ten years ago. That, that little red guy you have is kind of cool too. Oh yeah. The yeah. little one's like that big, mm -hmm. it's red. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he says the yeah. one button on it that you, you step on sometimes. Yeah. If something changes, I don't know what. But... <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Not really. It, it it sounds like it is, but it's like two years ago, or was it three years ago now? When battles first kind of started, it was like ridiculous. Where it was like I didn't I didn't have an apartment because I was just touring so much. Because that's when all three bands were touring at the same time. So that's but that hasn't happened since. So it's like there's a new Tomahawk record that's gonna come out, but it's I don't even know if they tour. So it's like it's really calmed down on that. And then the other thing I've been involved in is whenever I want it to happen. Basically. So it's like Battles is, is absolutely my main thing going on right now. Soul music is soul music. It's like that's, that's you in your purest form and that's and that, that has its benefits and that has its um, cons, you know. So you, I, I feel like it's good to have a balance in a way, you know. I, I, I still like doing solo music and, you know, still want to work on that front and I can tell you this though, like band-wise, I'm not. I'm definitely not going looking to play with another band. Like this is definitely my band, you know. So that it's it's cool. I think it's necessary to keep balances because then it'll let the project exist for longer. If this was just like, you know, we all cut our hands and it's a suicide pact, and you know, <laughs> whoa, 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 you know, whoa. and like no one can leave. Calm down. <laughs> Once you're in, you, you don't get like, out. Blood in, blood out. <laughs> Yeah.
yeah, I, I, I still, I like touring in general. I mean, I still, I look forward to touring in California. You know, still, I've done that thousands of times. It still is just really fun. Or Europe, it's always great to come to Europe. It's great to go to Japan. I went to Brazil once. That was great. I'd like to take battles down to, down to South America. <coughs> yeah, we've been down there. I've never played Russia. I'd like to go to Russia. No. Or, um, wait, what's the, um, De, wait, Darfur? I don't know. Okay, wait, what's the place, um, in the Middle East? No, what's the, the, like, super westernized, the only, like, really big westernized, Dubai. Yeah, we should play Dubai. <laughs> I, I love, we played Sicily. Yeah, Sicily. I, I think yeah. that was one of my favorite places back in the world. Japan. After Belgium, of course. Yeah, after Belgium. I love lonely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs>